Does anyone know who made the first affordable digital sampler? You know, who know. Tell us, Mr. Audio. Digital sampling was introduced around 1980 by Fairlight, an Australian digital instrument manufacturer, New England Digital, the makers of the Synclavier, the French company Publison, that had a sampling device that was essentially a digital delay that could capture short incoming signals and then modulate the pitch with a keyboard, and Roger Lynn, who had just introduced the LM1, the first sampling drum machine. Although Lynn's device could only play back pre-recorded samples, unlike the others that could actually capture samples. However, since this was cutting-edge technology, the unit cost of all of the samplers was very expensive, generally in the $100,000 range. For example, the price of just one meg of RAM for the Synclavier was $10,000. Dave Rossum, the co-founder and master engineer for the musical instruments company Emu, had just developed some of the first scanned polyphonic keyboards for synths, and had licensed the technology to other synth manufacturers like Oberheim and Sequential Circuits. Rossum was impressed with digital sampling and felt that if it could be done affordably, it could be an industry game changer. The big issue was the cost of the RAM, the memory chips that loaded and played the samples. Companies like Fairlight had used different memory subsystems for each sound, which dramatically increased the cost. Rossum found a direct memory access chip that would be fast enough to handle multiple notes from one memory chip. By using five chips, he was able to simultaneously play eight notes. Rossum never patented the memory sharing he developed, although it's the basis for all samplers that were developed after his. Rossum called his sampler the emulator, which cleverly incorporated Emu into the name. It was available in both four voice and eight voice models. They could capture up to 17 seconds of sound. Each sample was fixed to two seconds in length, but could be looped to play longer, and was limited to just 8-bit resolution. Because of these constraints, emulators only needed 128K of RAM, keeping the cost to just under $10,000, which compared to other available samplers was very affordable. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.